guys, what is up? And today we are back with another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, um, we examined the security camera footage video of um, Megan supposedly murdering Detective Goodman, or, well, well, Goodman hurting Meekins, or something like that. But, anyways, we are down to the last testimony, I believe. And, uh, let's just get right into it here. There's one other thing that for proof of the man with the death of Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence from one of you, their ID card. When an ID card of you, the record of it. At the time of the crime, that the death of the youth of the card. An ID card record. I see. I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime, hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transferal. Why were there only so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain sp special cases. Now, before we go on, I would just like to check something real quick. There was supposed to be, um... You know, lost item report. It doesn't say anything in the last item report. Uh... Yeah, but wait. I was front of the prosecutor's office, and he was in the evidence room at the time, so he wouldn't have had it as his ID card, I don't think. This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too, although it doesn't make much of a difference. <laughs> Finally acknowledging that he's a <laughs> that he's a hedgehog. There were only a few cases up for transferal there, and most of them were cleared up by noon. Right, I see. Now let us move on to the girls' examination. Thing. Since the thing was like in um, the uh, prosecutor's office, we can only assume that maybe he dropped it there or something, or maybe it was like it was already missing. So then that other lost item report could have been the um, ID, and that's probably why he didn't um, say anything about it. Okay, there it is. <coughs> Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. I'm not gonna wait, sir. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A lost item report? It's only half completed, but it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. Let me guess, you believe this something is to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there's a high probability. On the day of the crime... I'm sorry, my friend just texted me and she used like a freaking... <laughs> she asked me, how's your spring break going? And she used like a freaking question mark and exclamation mark and I'm just like... Jesus Christ, let calm down. <laughs> On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order, order! So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Order! 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 Does the prosecution have a response? I have only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. Wright. B bravo Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 on the day of the, of the crime, the man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. 
There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake... Okay. <laughs> Another thing just happened. In other words, the security camera does not show the instant of murder. Uh... That is... I, well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago, you seem to be content to, to be pointing your finger around. This isn't going to end well. <laughs> I've given up. Well, well, it seems you finally realized exactly what you've gone to such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. The defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So... So the real crime could only take place at one location, the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office, and the murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness. Observe the moment of the defendant use the murder weapon. Ah! Oh no, that's not good. Oh shit. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Megan's encountered, and where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something or I'll fall What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? Oh, heck, okay. Um... What if I wait and see what happens and then Miss Lana Sky gets freaking proven guilty? What if I do that? I don't even know. I don't know. Objection, my boys. One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. So quiet. So really unsettling. Oh. However, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. The defense demands further examination into the truth of this matter. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor? If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I am sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for the incident. This just might be my chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. Wright, do you mean- Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Who? Oh, who do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testify. What is his or her name? Mr. Jake Marshall. Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? We can't let Edward know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the defense's request. Since he has responsible since he was responsible for guarding this room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than twenty minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will take a 30 minute recess while the witnesses sub sub. Okay. Okay. Will the prosecution please prepare the witness during this time? We will, Your Honor. Court is now in recess. Ah! 
There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Huh? What do you mean? You can't- you call for Jake Marshall. It seems you've figured everything out. Uh, I haven't figured anything out. <laughs> Same. Lana, you're the one who knows everything! Emma? You always know everything! Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you! I... I don't recall ever asking for his protection. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Oh, but not interrupting anything, God Goddamn it, don't you? Oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. <laughs> Poor him. Oh my god. Wait, this is the gumshoe. What is it? Oh, he's sad now. You gotta let him know, pal. Making a death of run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Hey. Hey! 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 I didn't say that from Frosty to Sky. What the fuck? That's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what is he doing? You mean this, right? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name? Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring me the S online incident files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The S online incident? But Lana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Here, you might do well to read them. I can't believe you. The chief prosecutor were a witness in that case. Miss Skye was a witness? Take it from me. You don't want anything to do with the serial murders. Oh, what? Now that I brought your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? Uh, Emma, but why? Why is your name in here? Why is your name in here? What? M my name's in there? I don't know, unless... No, it could be. Lana, this has online, isn't it? Is that... That's the classification number. The police filed it on that. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as... The Joe Dark Killings. The Joe Dark... No, no, Lana! That's over with! No! <clears throat> Emma, wait! She ran away. Uh, you know what? I just remembered. I gotta be somewhere. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth. Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't be just a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I better take a good look at this file. Oh my god, that's so intense. Oh my lord. Oh, <laughs> that was so intense. Wow. Um... Alrighty then, uh, well, this is all kind of unexpected. I have been sitting here for like, for like freaking 40 minutes, 40 minutes straight. I might as well like continue recording. I don't know. But anyway, is that is the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please maybe leave a like, maybe leave a comment or maybe even subscribe. I will see you next time.